Good morning, you guys. Can you say good morning? Good morning. We are in Monroe's car rider drop off line. I was about to say pick up line. Um, oh, um, I have to go to my doctor's today. Um, actually, in an hour. So. I'm going to film a vlog today and then I will go ahead and film my um, 21 week pregnancy update probably this weekend and then I'll have that probably up Monday or Wednesday I'm not sure yet but um yeah we rushed out the house this morning I already got myself ready Zaya is gonna be going either over to my mom's or my mom's gonna come over to the house to watch her for me so I don't have to take her with me to the doctor and yeah this girl's going to school can't you tell she's so excited N -O. N -O. you know the whole break you would wake up at like six o'clock and then when it's time for school she's supposed to get up at seven and she doesn't get up until after seven in the freezer there's nothing in there <laughs> all right you guys so I just got back from my doctor's appointment my mom just left and my sister stopped by too and this little girl come out of here come can I close it come on you're just gonna keep being crazy. So my mom and my sister just left. Um, I'm just making something quick. I'm gonna make a little bread baron pizza for me to eat real quick. It is 12.30. Um, I'm probably gonna be leaving here, I don't know, like two maybe. Um, I have to run to the grocery store. I think I'm going to make, um, shrimp and chicken alfredo for dinner we haven't had that in a long time so i have the chicken i just need to pick up a bag of shrimp so i'm gonna stop at the grocery store before it's time for me to go get monroe also if you guys have any suggestions for like dinner ideas and stuff like i'm on pinterest all the time but i still don't find anything new or different for me to cook i like to do crock pot meals like the most because they're just quick and easy and you just start it and then forget about it basically um so that's what i prefer to do but if you guys have any suggestions of good recipes leave them down below because i will be gladly to try anything different <laughs> say hi hi look they can't see you say hi huh say bye 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 boom kiss bye -bye. <laughs> say can you say mama hey can you say mama if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it in your face will surely show it that's cool water
Did you poop? Did you poop? Did you poop? Ooh, wee! You stink, girl. Pee. Pee you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Can I have some? Can I have some in my hand? Oh, thank you. Can I have some of this one? No, can I have some? This one. Can I have some of that one? Can I have some? Oh, you're sharing that so nice. No. <laughs> so I want to show you guys two new things that I purchased for the baby recently. Actually, three things. But um, I've seen on Instagram these little swaddle things. And the brand is Love to Dream. I have a swaddle blankets. Like plenty of them for the baby from when Zaya was little. But I don't have any like sack things like this. And I've heard about this one, and then there's another brand. There's another brand, too, um, that I heard of on Instagram. But I didn't know that they sold these at Target. So I have them on, like, my little Amazon wish list thing. And on Amazon, they're $27. And I saw this one on the clearance section at Target for $25.48. So I just picked up one. I was going to get the smaller size but they did not have have it so i got the medium one and then these does i messed up i had them all nice and neatly so i could show you guys um these little top knots i think that's what they're called turbans um i bought from another instagram shop it is called little knots I bought these two really pretty colors. This is like a caramel color. And then mm. this one is kind of like a mauve mm. looking color. It's on camera. It looks purple, but mm. I guess that's kind of what it is. I don't know. It's like, it's not that dark. I think it's just the lighting, but it's really pretty. I bought this one to bring to the hospital with us. So it's like a newborn size. And then this one, I just got a size small. I want to get like a lot more of these. I think they are so cute. But um, I'm trying to find mm. some kind of outfit. Like probably I'm looking for a sleeper, honestly. Just something really comfortable for her to wear. Like for her pictures. Like her mm. announcement picture that I'm going to do in the hospital. Um, I think I'm just going to get one of the sleep, like a plain sleeper. Mm. Like a, maybe like a beige one or I'm not really sure. Um, but I've been looking at the um, sleepers from... Is it called Love Baby? Um, I guess the material of them are supposed to be like really soft. So I think I'm going to order one of those. I'm just not sure about the color yet to go with this to bring to the hospital. So I picked up these two. I do want to get like a lot more of these just in different colors. But those are just the two that I picked up so far. So yeah, if you guys want to check this shop out, it's called Little Knots. And I think it's the same thing on Instagram. I will tag them in the description box, their little link. You guys, we have had the hardest time picking out a baby name for this baby. Literally everything that I come up with, Malcolm's like, uh, I don't know. And then the things that he's come up with, I'm like, absolutely not. I just like we cannot agree upon a name this time with Monroe's name it was so easy like I said it and he agreed he loved it and then with Zaya's name I feel like 
we did go back and forth for a while, but it definitely did not take this long. So I don't know, like, I don't know what we're about to do. I mean, we still have, what, 17, 16 weeks left. I'll be 22 weeks tomorrow. And then I'll have my scheduled C-section on when I'm 39 weeks. So yeah, like 16 weeks. And we do not have a name. I just need to sit him down and be like, okay, you're not moving until we can come up with something. Because it's just, like at this rate, she's just not going to have a name. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like she's not going to have a name until we get to the hospital. Like that's, that's how it's going to be. I don't know. I've checked everywhere. I've looked on like just searching names. And that's the thing. Like we like unique names, things you don't hear often. Things like when you're in school, there's like only one of you or two of you at the most but like our names like we like unique names things that also like I've been looking for a lot of unisex names like that's how we came up with Monroe's name I wanted it to be like when you look at something like look at her name you can't tell if she's a girl or a boy I like names like that and Zaya did not take a nap today it's already 1 13 she usually would be waking up from her nap right now. But since my mom was here, um, she just, mom was like, she wasn't acting tired. She was just doing her own little thing. So I know once we get in the car to go get Monroe, she's gonna pass out in, in the car seat. Hi, baby. You want to come up here? Come here. No oh. bite. You want some? I'm going to tip it on you. No? You just want to come up here with me? You guys, don't mind my dirty mirror. Little kid hands and lips are all over it. But look at my belly, you guys. I'm like growing so fast. Crazy. So we are in the pickup line to, waiting for Monroe. We have about 20 minutes until her school lets out and Zaya is knocked out back here in the background. Wish I knew that was going to happen since she didn't nap today. Um, but I was sitting here thinking and I also wanted to let you guys know something. I changed my Instagram handle to Kayla M. Penny. So I will go ahead and leave it somewhere down here that way you guys can check it out if you guys aren't following me already but I just changed it because I'm gonna be raising more than just M and Z it's gonna be another baby and her name is not gonna be an M and it's not gonna be a Z so it's just time for me to go ahead and change it so I'm just gonna change everything I think to my name so here shortly i'm going to also change my youtube name oh if you guys have any um 
like baby must-haves that you guys think I mean this is my third time around I pretty much know everything um, but any of the newer stuff like that's out if you guys like really highly recommend it like the DACA tie I'm really really thinking about getting that um, I didn't get it with Zaya but I totally regret it because I really think like I've heard so many people that have it love it so if you do recommend that let me know and then if there's anything else um, I think I'm gonna get a bassinet this time because we used the pack and play last time with Zaya and it was just so big and in the way I'd have to out of like the baby would be sleeping on my side of the bed so every time every morning when Zaya woke up for the day I would have to take it out from our side of the bed and move it to the end of the bed but it still it just takes up so much space so I think I'm going to invest in a bassinet um and the only one I've really been eyeing is the halo bassinet I think that's what it's called um I'm probably going to be using Huggies with her because I use Honest with both girls, both Monroe and Zaya, and I had the same issue with both of them. My babies are chunkier, one, so I feel like the Honest diapers don't really fit them as well. And also I, I had problems with them like leaking through their diapers, like having serious blowouts. like all the time and it coming out of the diaper up the back um, whenever I use Honest. But then when I switched to Huggies for both of them, I didn't have a problem after that. I mean, occasionally you'll have a blowout, but it wasn't like every day, multiple times a day, like I was with Honest. The wipes I use, I usually go back and forth between the Costco brand, which is Kirkland's, and then I also order um, the Amazon ones. I think they're called Amazon Element. Those are my favorite. So those are the wipes I'll be continuing to use. Because um, Zaya's still in diapers now. She probably won't be potty trained until, I don't know, maybe when it gets closer time for when the baby's going to be here. I don't know. I don't even know if that's a good idea. I think it just really depends on her, like, how she's acting then. Um, I potty trained Monroe when she was around two, so I plan to do the same for Zaya, but we shall see. This little girl knocked out. <laughs> Tongue and all. <laughs>
Put it back down. you guys so the girls are finally in bed and i was like was so ready for bed we had to wake her up earlier since she fell asleep in the car when i was picking up monroe i let her lay down for about an hour and then when we woke her up she was super cranky but um so she passed out right away and Monroe is in bed. I think she wants to go to my mom's house for the weekend again. Um, which reminds me, I'm probably going to be doing a vlog this weekend. Because we're going to be celebrating my sister's 20th birthday. Um, so I think I'm going to vlog the weekend. And then I'll have my pregnancy update up on Wednesday. So the vlog will be up on Monday and then the pregnancy update will be up on Wednesday. If you guys do have any questions that you want me to answer um, with anything in general or even if it's pregnancy updates, um, I did get a few questions on the last pregnancy update. So I will um, talk about them on my new pregnancy update. But if you have any questions, pregnancy, non-pregnancy, leave them down in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them either in the vlog or in a pregnancy update so i thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe if you're not already forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell notification that way you're notified when my new video is uploaded i will see you guys in the next one